Hello and welcome to my channel, a channel where we make structural engineering design simple and easy. My name is Olodu Konyedi and I'm your host. I want to say very big thank you to everyone who has subscribed to our channel and those who have been sending encouraging words. We really, really appreciate you. And also those who are here to subscribe, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button so that you will be notified when we put up videos like this and also you are encouraging us to do more when you subscribe it means our videos are being helpful to you so hit that subscribe button um we'll be taking some questions from some of our subscribers we have bala balabakubo john Kristen, Kristen, say how are you, Prof. Professor? I am Balaba Kubo, IJC. I'm begging you, Professor, to cover moment redistribution in beam according to BS eight one one zero. How to shift and reduce bars from where there are many to the parts where bars are few. Um, um, Bala Balaba Kubo Balaba Kubo. Uh, you didn't tell us where you are commenting from. So, but um, if I understand what you are asking properly, uh, if you if you do this, let's let's do something. We say, okay. Immediately you click this when you are starting a project. Immediately you click BS eight one one zero. Import. Please pay attention. Immediately you click UK BS eight one one zero. Import. It means you are in, say, the. If you look carefully here, yeah, you see code and related parameter analysis model parameter load case and combination column design setting beam design setting slab design setting staircase design setting retrofit wall setting footing setting slab additional load library and um, beam load wall load library materials i section uh, detailed drawing section uh, settings view settings labels unit and format settings layer dimension style so immediately you click this and you say import immediately you import everything you are talking about um, uh, moment redistribution in beams according to 8110 how to shift how to reduce bar from where there are many to where bars are few thank you so what we just did if we say import automatically it does it imports everything that that we 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 are doing it imports typically everything so with this whatever you do and even when you run your analysis it runs it by doing that moment distribution that you are talking about so um, you don't have to um, worry yourself over over um, the moment distribution whatever whether it worked or it did not work or something like that so what is there is whatever you you do automatically it's it takes care of it takes care of it. it takes care of it so that shouldn't be an issue whenever you do you say beam and slab design whatever you do it will take care of it so I think that shouldn't be an issue and um, balabakobo um, the, the the moment redistribution in beam is being done automatically so whenever it brings out its result all has been done 
So, so if we take the next question, it says, Israel or Ochobo? Israel or Chobo? You said, <coughs> Israel, you didn't tell us where you are commenting from. Please, whoever is sending a comment, let us know where you are. If you are in Nigeria, please tell us your states. If you are in Lagos, in Abuja, in Cross River, wherever you are, let us know. But if you are outside the country, if you are in Ghana, if you are in US, in Canada, or in Burundi, in wherever you are in Africa or in the world, please let us know. And you said, how can I contact you directly? Please have put up my um, my contacts. Um, please check our previous videos. Uh, we've already done all those we've already done all those so um, what we can do is through my email just say abalon abalon engineering engineering limited in short form at gmail.com gmail.com so whatever you do please uh, send us a mail we will definitely um, get across to to you we'll definitely get across to you please send the message uh, my team will definitely get across to you if it's a one-on-one -on -one training or a corporate training or whatever you want or is it a design you want us to do for you or whatever it is please send a mail and we'll be glad to do so with we are starting a, a consultancy services where we can also help to do designs for you and we'll discuss the terms and condition on how to go about it so send the drawings and whatever you have send it then we'll discuss that so this is how you can contact us, um, Israel. You can contact us. So we have um, CEO. He said, "Thanks for all you do. Thanks for all you do." And we have, um, and but you, 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 you didn't tell us where you are co commenting from. Please let us know where you are commenting from. Amandu Samoy. You said, "Good evening, sir. My name is Samoy Amandu from Abuja. Thank you." my question goes like this i design a structure a two suspended floor to be exact with a cantilever of over 2.5 meters the issue now is that the client wants the space where the column coming from the foundation to the first floor to be superimposed on the cantilever by doing that it keeps failing till i increase the size and the size and reinforcement so what pass now is 230 by 600 column 230 by 600 column with 8y25 want to know if it's safe from my interactive design pass with that um someone please whenever you are doing design <coughs> your design must must be um must be functional must be economic and it must be um aesthetic so but when your design is tending towards f not being functional please discuss with the client and tell the client based on your your professional advice what is them fit um what is the fit so let the let your client know and um, yes if you have a cantilever more than even one meter 1.2 you have to increase the depth of the beam and also the reinforcement so relatively i can say okay but i've not seen the design but whatever it is um it's supposed 2.5 cantilever is quite um it's quite um, much in a way, but it's doable. So that's that um, 
reinforcements even if I've not done it I will say it um, is is okay if even if I've not really checked but if I see the old drawing I can I can check for it so but all the same a good work and keep keep practicing keep doing and keep giving your client the best advice that can stand the test of time because if your house collapse the first person that will be arrested will be the structural engineer so whenever you are doing design please always put that at the back of your mind that um, if anything happens to this this structure you will be the first person to to be held responsible so stand your ground what is not right make sure you tell the client and if the client refuse you can easily excuse yourself from that project um, uh, some i hope i hope this answers your question but if it's not please let me know our um contact address is there so that it's abalone engineering limited l T D all in one word at gmail.com so let us know and we'll be glad to respond to you so um remember less and continue watching our video continue subscribing and we'll say you are blessed thanks